Hello and welcome to uh, our first um, short webinars. Uh, it's just a, a quick guide uh, on how to uh, do certain six, certain things within the application. Uh, we've designed these to be quick and easy bite-sized uh, guides to help you understand uh, some really cool and some uh, really efficient things in the application to help you understand and make your work uh, work uh, a bit easier. Uh, so let me kick off. Um, I will share my screen with you. So I'm going to share with you now. Um, so what you will see here is I really have a shared inbox set up. So what we wanted to highlight today was what are the key things that you can do within the shared inbox. Um, our goal is to show you the benefits of some really key features, features that help you uh, build some transparency within your teams and also the features that help you under, help you uh, streamline and uh, and make things easier uh, because you know with the, with the shit inbox we've noticed that these are accounts with do have a lot of noise coming in uh, so it's always easy uh, it's always better to sort of understand and, and find a way to, to make uh, this noise a, a, a little quieter so uh, the first thing you notice is the, my shared inbox is designed to help me with invoice handling. So when I set up the shared inbox, my first uh, uh, sort of uh, criteria for the shared inbox was to start and help me with uh, invoice handling. So that's what it's, what it's designed to do. Uh, so any emails that come in here are all from invoice at support, uh, invoice at in the loop.io. So this is our support account, you could say. Now you can have a invoice at whatever your domain is. You can use, you can also have a, a hello or a, uh, uh, a support at Either, any any account that is uh, with a public account can easily be set up on on Loop as a shared inbox. Now, every email that comes into invoice at in the Loop.io automatically comes into into here, which is connected to my uh, Faisal at in the Loop.io account. Uh, the team I've created is in my favorites uh, where I would like it so it's easy for me to access so I can click on uh, invoice handling and I'll be taken into its uh, its channel. Now from here uh, I have an email from Neon112. Uh, it's an invoice query from a company called Adidas. Right? Now I can click the email and what you will notice right away is that the email is looped in so that means that I can have a private conversation so a side conversation about this email with my team so i just want to double check who's in this team i click on the members tab i can see i'm the admin i've got three other individuals here click back i'm taken back into the channel and i click on the email now i can review this email but you know this email has come in but it's not really my remit so i don't really necessarily have the answer to this so what i would do is i will assign this email to the best person. So in this situation, in this instance, the best person is Anna. So I will click here and I will assign this to someone. Uh, now I'm gonna assign this to him. Can you handle this? Great, so now you will notice that the email has an amazing tag on there, which is Anna's name. So I can click, I can see who this email is assigned to. It's Anna. And I can see, oh great, so she's also, she's seen my message and she's sending me a quick message back. Great. So let's see what she says. She just needs to say, yeah, sure, I'll take care of it. Excellent, brilliant. Uh, and then we will notice that Anna, once she has dealt with this, uh, she can resolve this or she can uh, assign this to somebody else. Now, in this instance, um, we want Anna to, to, to review this and you know, to try to handle this as much as possible. The great thing here for anybody who set up a shared uh, sort of inbox is the transparency. Now, you will see that there are benefits to this that once Anna completes this task, so if Anna was to resolve this, for example, I'll be able to see that this ticket has been resolved. Now, this, even if I'm not in the inbox or I know that Anna's dealing with this, I know that this ticket has been taken care of, which is exactly what I want to, to happen. So let's see. Uh, perfect, brilliant. So you will notice that Anna has resolved this and the ticket also has resolved written right there, which is perfect, exactly what we wanted. 
Um, the same thing applies here. Now, in this situation, I've got an email uh, from myself, but for a payment uh, question by night. Now, what I would do here is rather than assigning this to somebody else, I would actually assign this to myself. So you'll notice that it's got now got a, a me tag on there, which basically means that I've assigned this ticket to myself. Now I can reply back to the user, so I can reply back and I can say, uh, no problem, we will look into this. Now, excellent. So what I've done is you will notice because it's a loop, I've replied directly to the original email um, and I have a loop bottom up here as well. Now, because I've replied to this and hypothetically it's been resolved, I can again click resolve right there. So just click resolve and hit enter. Great. So again, this ticket has been resolved. Now the good thing here is I can also sort of use my filters to see, you know, if a ticket is assigned to somebody, I can see what tickets are in progress. I can see which tickets are resolved. So in this instance, these are resolved. If, for example, this wasn't resolved, I'll be able to click here and see in progress and also see if it was assigned to somebody else. So this is why it's, it's so much more intuitive and so much more powerful than just traditional emails. Um, you know, you have the control, uh, you have the ability to see, you know, ample amounts of data, uh, you know, to see what's resolved, what isn't resolved, what's pending, who's, who is it, who is this particular email assigned to. It becomes intuitive as you use it, uh, and also becomes sort of your, uh, your to-do list, becomes your, uh, your, your sort of guide to the day to see, you know, okay, this today, I have so-and-so emails that's already assigned to me, this is what I have to action. So these are some really key benefits to, to this particular feature. Um, you know, you can also, at the end of the day, you also get reports, so you're able to see what reports you've gotten. So if you want to see how well your, your shading box team is doing, you'll be able to see reports, uh, and you'll be able to change things if you know, improvements need to be made. So it's, it's, it's really designed to give you that control of, of, a, of a heavy inbox, and also give you transparency about what is being resolved, how well your team's performing, what your team is doing, and what you can improve in your team to, uh, to, to, to make it better. Um, if you want to uh, also invite somebody to this team, so if you've got this particular team here and you want to add another member, uh, it's very easy. You can click on the uh, uh, panel and you can add another person. And this person will automatically be invited to this team. Uh, and the process of inviting is, is very easy. So once you set up a shared box, you uh, you get the option to invite people at the start um, and they get an invite, uh, they click the invite and they'll be able to, to download the application if they haven't already got, got one, haven't already got it. Uh, if they are already used to group email, then magically they will have the team appear within their favorites so they can access it very, very quickly. Um, if individuals who don't have the application or would like to download the application, they receive an invite from us and they can just download uh, the app following the uh, email instruction that they receive. So inviting people is again very simple and very easy. Uh, the whole process we try to make it as intuitive and as automated as possible. So we sort of do the hard work for you and, and try to keep it as uh, as lightweight for you as possible. Yeah, I mean that's that's just of the the, uh, the short webinar we had today. Uh, I've got a couple of questions from you guys, uh, so let me just answer them. Okay, so the first question is about spam. So what do you do with spam? How do we get spam or you know, do we delete them? So the answer is that we actually have a spam filter. So we know within uh, a shared inbox, especially within a public email address, a lot of spam does come through. Sometimes spam is actually requests from customers or questions from customers. Uh, and the great thing is you can actually filter. Uh, we will automatically hide the spam because we don't want to sort of clutter your inbox. But you can click here. And what would happen is we'd be able to see your spam emails over here. So you can undo this as well. So if it's a lot of spam, you can undo it. But if you just want to quickly have a look and see what spam you have, some of it may be relevant to you, what you're looking for, you can toggle it on and you can toggle it back off again. Um, 
So we have one more question. Uh, the question again is, is, is around inviting. So again, inviting is very simple. Uh, you can invite somebody by hitting the, uh, the, the icon, the people icon and inviting somebody here. Uh, you can also invite somebody uh, by um, sending them an invite. So on loop, we have uh, an invite here. But if you want them to, to be part of a shared inbox that you've created, just uh, hit uh, invite and then uh, from here, just uh, add them to the, to the team and they'll be invited here as well. Uh, let's see if we've got one more question. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, perfect. Um, so another question that we've got is how do you connect a, another shared inbox? So that's actually uh, a process that we've, we've worked quite hard on to try to uh, make as easy as possible. So we actually have a, um, uh, an online onboarding process. Uh, so we have a link that's on our help center. So you can click the link and it will take you to our onboarding and it will guide you through the onboarding process. Uh, we also have another way of doing it, which is through our loop bot. So if you are looking to set up another shared inbox, uh, you can go through the loop bot uh, channel, which should be in your favorite, and you just set, and type in set up shared inbox and that will start the process. Uh, but you can also go through our web onboarding, which is our new sort of setup process, and that will help you uh, set up the, uh, the shared inbox. Um, if you are struggling or you have any questions, you can always reach out to, uh, to support at in the loop.io and we'll be able to, to guide you through a setup process. Um, we always try to help you online uh, via loop, by chat. Uh, but if there is something that we can't help you with, we are always ready and ready to go to jump on a Zoom call and we can get online with you in a matter of seconds. So if you want to jump on a Zoom call privately, or you just want to have a chat with us about an issue, just uh, drop a line to either Lootbot or Jerry Chat, and we'll be able to, uh, to guide you through the, uh, the setup process or any other questions that you may have. Good. Uh, okay, so if you, let me just seven and look at any other questions. Great, okay, perfect. So that's it for now. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to drop me a line, which is Faisal at InTheLoop.io or drop support at InTheLoop.io and uh, click email and uh, we'll be able to help you. We'll be here again on next Thursday with another short webinar to help you uh, through some uh, setup processes or some guides and how to guide and how to do a particular thing in the, in, in the app. If there is something that you would like to know, please drop us a message and we can uh, make that one of the topics for the coming weeks. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Goodbye.